Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Bridget. I'm a nurse practitioner and I'm also a nurse educator. In today's video, we will be going over five mental health NCLEX questions. Please leave a comment below if you would like me to do NCLEX questions on a different topic. And also if you just have any random ideas for a video. A client is undergoing a clinical interview as part of diagnostic testing for bipolar disorder. Which best describes why a clinical interview would be conducted? To test the client's memory function? No. To determine how much the client perceives and cognitively understands? To measure the client's IQ level? No. To assess the client's psychiatric and family background? Bipolar can run in families, so this is the best answer. A clinical interview is part of an intake assessment of a client that involves talking with the client to gather important data that could later be used as part of the treatment. And things that are asked are the current symptoms, background, data about family, personal history, and psychological diagnoses. The other ones are not, uh, this, the client's memory is not a component of evaluating for bipolar. The others are not appropriate. The good thing about nursing.com is that if you don't understand a question, they have videos, lessons that you can review. This was a medium difficulty question. 48% answered this correctly. A client with schizophrenia has been non-compliant with taking his medications. The nurse understands that the most likely reason for non-compliance with the treatment regimen for the client is which of the following. A client with schizophrenia has been non-compliant, has been non-compliant, which is the most likely likely reason. Irritation with the nurse for giving the medication, anger about the diagnosis of schizophrenia, the inability to remember to take the medication, lack of insight about the diagnosis of schizophrenia. And usually again with schizophrenia, a lot of times they do lack insight. They think that, um, let's say that they have uh, delusions of grandeur they believe that what they have is a gift, so like the visions they're seeing could be from God, and they don't they don't think that they have an issue. They lack insight. Some clients with mental health diagnoses are non-compliant with taking medications. And keep in mind, if you're watching this, when I make these videos, it's geared towards nursing students. Okay, I'm not saying that everybody with schizophrenia lacks insight. It's just that when you're taking tests, you start to see patterns. And keep in mind, when individuals are hospitalized for schizophrenia, their schizophrenia occurs on a spectrum. So there's people in our everyday lives that are medication compliant, they have insight. But what we see in the hospital are the more severe cases and that is what is being tested on. So again, if you have schizophrenia, this is not to say that everybody lacks insight that has schizophrenia. It is not meant to insult. It, this is an educational tool for students that are going through this. Some clients with mental health di diagnoses are non-compliant. There are numerous reasons for non-compliance. Other reasons could be they don't have health insurance, um, lack of access to health care. It's too expensive. So there's other reasons, but one of the most common reasons is a lack of insight the client has about the disease. Other reasons may be non-compliant with medications, including beliefs about the medications and the substance abuse. If someone has paranoid schizophrenia, they may believe that the medication is poisoning them. So those are just some issues you may encounter. A nurse is caring for an older adult who is experiencing wasting and malnutrition as, as a result of dementia. Sometimes this is called cachexia, C-A-C-H-E-X-I-A. The client's daughter asked the nurse about giving her mother a nutritional shake. Which response from the nurse is accurate? You can supplement your mother's food intake with a nutritional shake to add after a meal. Nutritional shakes are typically only used for weight loss. No, there's there's shakes like Ensure that we use a lot in the hospital for people that are not eating and to supplement. You should substitute your mother's meals with a nutritional shake instead. You should not use nutritional shakes. I do not provide enough calories. I'm going to go with this one. You can supplement your mother's food intake with a nutritional shake to add after a meal. While nutritional supplements are available over the counter, they are designed to be supplements and not entire meals. The nurse should counsel the family that an older adult with malnutrition should not receive the shake in place of a meal, but should instead focus on healthy eating with the nutritional shake added afterward as a supplement. This was an easy question. 89% answered this correctly. And once again, there's notes to review if you don't understand why that is the correct answer. You can also pause to read the rationales. Okay, my system crashed. So I'm going to do two more questions. 
A client who has undergone a lower limb amputation is struggling with body image issues. The nurse helps the client to acknowledge his feelings over his feelings of loss over the change, which best describes the rationale for this intervention. To help the client appreciate that he can still use other limbs, this to help the client realize that his feelings are normal. Because we're the key word here is acknowledging. We're acknowledging his feelings of loss, and those feelings are normal. Being sad is okay. We have to normalize that we can't be expected to be happy all the time. Just how an ocean ebbs and flows, so do our emotions. The nurse should help the client acknowledge his feelings of loss and teach that his grief over the physical change is normal. You can pause to read. The last question I will be going over is this one. Again, my system crashed and I was on question three, so this is the fifth one. A client with a history of of this, I don't want to say it because if YouTube flags the video, then I can't monetize it, has been brought into the emergency department after receiving a laceration from a broken window. After treating the injury, the provider orders the client to be admitted for inpatient treatment in the mental health unit. The client becomes very angry and tells the nurse that he wants to leave, which response from the nurse is accurate. In Florida, we call it the Baker Act. Here, it's not technically saying that it's an involuntary hold, but normally when someone is admitted to an inpatient psych unit, it's because it is that 72-hour involuntary hold. Remember that you can only bake rack someone if they are danger to themselves, others, or due to self-neglect. So this one is saying you have to be admitted because you are a danger to yourself. You need to be admitted. Just using test-taking techniques, all three of them are saying you have to be admitted. They're variations of being admitted. This is the only odd ball out. And technically, if he has this if he has a history of this type of addiction, he's not technically a danger to himself. He didn't say he was going to harm himself. So it is the correct answer. 50% answered this correctly. I, you know, when I don't, when I'm not sure about the answer, you can always use test taking techniques. I do have a course on, it's not an NCLEX course. It's an NCLEX test taking strategy course. I do want to reiterate that. So if you struggle on tests and kind of seeing the patterns, then check out my course. It's in the description below. Um, Despite the potential dangers associated with this type of blank, the client in this situation does not have to be admitted to the hospital for inpatient treatment. Every client has a right to refuse care unless there's a court order that requires them to receive inpatient treatment. If the nurse or provider felt the client is a danger to himself or others, then the client needs to be petitioned. If the client is petitioned and goes into a mental health hold, he legally cannot leave. Since this client has not been petitioned, he has the right to refuse inpatient treatment. That's all the questions for today. Drop a comment below if this was helpful. Um, if not, then <laughs> leave some uh, leave some suggestions on what you would like done differently. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you compress that like button. It helps other it helps other students find my channel. Until next time.